Everything I know about pyramids is from what I've read or discovered on the internet. But most importantly, it's been from customer feedback on their experiences. And what I've learnt is that there are a lot of different interpretations of what a pyramid should look like. So I've decided to try and help detangle all the misinformation from the correct information in this one video. So when you research pyramids, it'll make more sense. Now, most, but not all, pyramid constructions revolve around the concept of fault. Now, this is phi, sometimes referred to as the golden mean, the divine proportion, the golden ratio, just to name a few. In essence, it's a ratio, which is a relationship between two numbers, in this case, 1 and 1.618. So how does this apply to pyramids? Well, it all comes down to how you apply that ratio to geometric shapes and solids. So let's take a number and let's make it 50. Now, that could be 50 inches, that could be 50 meters, that could be 50 centimeters, that could be whatever you want. We're going to multiply it by 1.618 and you're always going to come up with 80.9. Now remember those two numbers there. Now I'm going to try apply that to a triangle. And this triangle here, I'm going to make the distance from the center to there 50 and I'm going to make that distance there 80.9. So there's my 1 is the 1.618. And when I've created that triangle, if I go measure that angle there, it's 51.83 degrees. Now, that number there might look familiar to you, or that shape might look familiar to you, because it's actually the shape of a Giza pyramid. And there it is there, your Giza pyramid. Well, let's have a look at that. So the distance from the apex right down to the center of my base Okay, is 1.618, and the distance in there is 1. Okay, now, I can go and apply that formula slightly differently, and I come up with a shape like this. So instead of 50 being from the center, I've actually got it going all the way across the base. I'm keeping that at 80.9. So 50 to 80.9, 1 is 1.618, and I end up with a 72 degree angle. So this is what we call the Nubian. So again, same ratio, one is to six, one is to 1.618, but applied in a slightly different way, gives us a totally different shape. Now here's a different type of pyramid, but this one doesn't use phi, it just has a ratio of one is to 2.02. That creates an angle of 76 degrees, and some people say that this is the Russian pyramid angle. So again, a different interpretation of what pyramids should look like. But here's another interpretation of what a pyramid looks like, and it's very similar to this one that we just saw. But this time it's using a series of circles, and as you can see, each circle gets bigger. And every time it gets bigger, it's multiplied by 1.618. So you can see that 5 and that 8.09. Familiar with those numbers? Okay, so we multiply 8.09 by 1.618, and we get that distance. We multiply that by 1.618, and so on. And you get a series of ever-expanding circles. Now, if I go and close that in a triangle, so these lines here, what we call tangential to those circles, I end up with an angle of 76.346 degrees, which is pretty close to that one there, okay? So, what does that look like? It looks more like this. And that's what we call, or I call, the Russian Pyramid. So now we've got the Russian Pyramid, we've got the Nubian Pyramid, and we've got the Giza Pyramid. And when you put all three of them together, what do you get? You get a Super Pyramid. It's not actually a super pyramid, it's actually the Russian, the Giza, and the Nubian. And it's good just to have three of them together and see how they contrast against each other. So how do I turn these concepts into a usable, usable product? Well, this is what I do. I create connectors for all these styles, Giza, Nubian, Russian, or any other style you desire. I make them for any size pipe or tube with an outside diameter starting from 12 mil or half inch up to 22.5 or 7 eighths of an inch. 
which covers a vast range of pipe or tube all over the world in either copper, aluminium or PVC. Now I know most of the pipe and tube diameters in every part of the world, so I'll help you calculate the sizes, source the pipe or tube, provide video instructions on how to cut your pipe and assemble your pyramid. All you have to do is choose. Now here's how they look fully assembled. These pyramids are all created to simulate what an average size pyramid would look like in your home and fit within an 8 foot or 2.4 metre ceiling. Now the model is 90 centimetres or 3 foot high, which represents a 183 centimetre or a 6 foot tall person. Now the geezer has a 210 centimetre or 6 foot 11 base and is 135 centimetres or 4 foot 5 inches high. The Nubian has a 140 centimetre or 4 foot 7 inch base and is 220 centimetres or 7 foot 2 inches high. And the Russian has a 110 centimetre or 3 foot 7 inch base and is 230 centimetres or 7 foot 6 inches high. Now these are just examples. You can make these as big or as small as you wish. So which one is best for you? I always tell people to go by their intuition or gut feeling. Pyramids tend to call you rather than you call them. Now, which of these three styles resonates with you? The calm, relaxing geezer or the energizing Nubian or Russian? Now, if you have any questions, then don't hesitate to contact me at urbanshamanpyramids at gmail.com or at www.urbanshaman.com.au. And thanks for listening.